Professor, the fishing year has come to a close. Pretty close, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we are there, we're at the end, but we learned a lot this year. Oh yeah. Lots of lessons, and in fact, in this video, we're going to talk about seven lessons that we learned as we attempted to get through our first year offshore fishing here in the Outer Banks. professor now you fished here years for years but but the thing was is you're fishing in your yellow boat yeah, in an outboard boat yeah center, draws center about two and a half feet of water on plane <laughs> different game we got speechless at the end of last year you and i started fishing together uh last summer and so we started this venture it's been a fun fun year it started with bluefin fishing in january we learned some stuff, and then of course this summer. So lesson number one for you for 2022 was the inlet is no joke. The inlet is no joke. Yeah. So you knew that, but what did you like? You further like really learn the inlet, uh, even more so this year. And so what were, what were some of the specifics about the inlet you you learned? Well, before I would always in my center console, but always pick my weather days. You know, every condition would have to be perfect. You yeah. know, for for us to attempt to go. And with this boat, it's bigger, and we've gone on some marginal days. And uh, just like this morning when we went yeah. out of the inlet, I was almost glad it was dark, so I couldn't <laughs> see what was going on. They were breaking me. everywhere. I yeah. don't know what they were, but legitimately, like, they're at least six, seven, eight feet, it seemed like to me. I mean, yeah. it was, it was, it was... It was bad. I mean, you can see white water everywhere, but luckily we squeaked right on through there, and this boat's amazing. It's made for that inlet, but yeah. it's still, I was glad it was dark, so I couldn't see it. Yeah, and it changed a lot. It, yeah. it, 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 it changed a lot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. So, uh, lesson number two, I'll share this one. By the way, I have no idea what the professor here is going to say. We're just kind of doing this on the spur of the moment. I said, come up with some lessons here, professor. Uh, lesson number two, what I learned was that in terms of, of bluefin fishing, there is a lot that happens in terms of the preparation. After you catch that bluefin, you don't really see on the show the fact that you let it cool down in the water yeah. for like 45 minutes. Yeah. You don't see how you prep it bleed and it. bleed it yeah. and all those components to it. You don't see that on the show. You don't see how when you, when you get to the uh, where they weigh it, and uh, in our case, as regular commercial fishermen, they just take the uh, core sample and they don't tell you what you're going to get. They'll cut the core sample and they're like, okay. They, they didn't tell you much at all. It's good or it's not good. Yeah. Said, our they, fish yeah, was good. Yeah. He's like, oh, look, that, and so that was it. That's, yeah. all, that's all we got there. So there's a lot that happens. And of course, you don't find out for four, five, six weeks uh, um, actually how much your tuna made. So that was... Uh, the first big lesson for me this year. Lesson number three, Professor. Well, I'd say lesson number three for me is I had, <clears throat> I don't I mean, I don't even know if this is a lesson or not, but just the pressure of being the captain. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's a, I guess it is a lesson. <laughs> I mean, before, you know, when you're just doing it for fun, yeah, you go out, you know, if you catch fish, you catch fish. Everybody wants to catch fish. Yeah. But when you're doing it professionally or, you know, in a manner where people are paying you to take them fishing. Yep. Man, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, you're constantly back and forth second guessing yourself. You I mean, want to perform. Yeah. you and, and the people that are on here have all been great. And they've had a great time, whether we caught fish or not. But I'm my worst critic when it comes to that. You know what I mean? I, that's one thing I need to and learn. And you always look cool, but I know how you get just so, you want to catch so oh, man. bad, Probably man. It nuts. just drives you crazy. Yeah, that was a good lesson. Yeah. Good lesson. All right, speaking of that, lesson number four. And, and again, I think these are good that we go back and forth because your lessons are for someone that's experienced. My lessons are from somebody that has never done any of this stuff, really. It's, it's just live, you know, living a, um, you know, just for the first time. So much for the first time. Right. For me was the incredible seasonality of fishing. And so January, bluefin, have a great time. Right at the last week of bluefin, like everybody's catching, quote, it just gets swallowed right up. It's gone like that. Dang. And then we saw... Right at the end of May, beginning of June, the yellowfin fishing was 
Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I forget how many thousands and thousands of tons of yellowfin uh, were caught during that time period, but it was it was crazy. And so I really learned how there's this change, right? Because August, September fishing, a lot more difficult, a lot more sporadic, yep. not nearly as much. And then it and then it has picked back up some here in October, right? So it's it's interesting to me because I've never gone through the seasons. There's definitely a seasonality to these fish in the OBS. Oh yeah, and it gets better in November, you know. But we got to get the boat home and get to work on get it. Get to work. Yeah, we got to so. get to work. All right, number lesson number five, professor, for you. Uh, lesson number five is going to be how much time and effort it takes for this whole operation. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just uh, you look. We left the dock this morning at five, and yes. it is six thirty right now. Yes. And we still haven't cleaned the boat yet. We haven't cleaned the boat yet. <laughs> we're making a video because we're dedicated, y'all. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot of time. I mean, because you, you've you even talked about this in a previous video. There's probably about four or five hours worth of prep that goes into every trip yeah. beforehand. And then, depending on the number of people we have, at least a few hours of, let's say, clean up and just getting her closed up yeah after we're done yeah and then once we do it every day we'll get a better system you know trent and i when we're you know fishing every day and um you know but it's you don't do it every day or you do it once a week or once every twice every two weeks or something like that you know it's, it's but yeah that's that's my lesson yeah all right uh, lesson number six for me, tournament fishing is difficult. <laughs> it is difficult, right? Yeah. I mean, we did our first tournaments this year. We did Virginia Beach. Um, we got our butts handed to us there. Right. I mean, it just that's a one-day tuna tournament. Didn't go well. And then we did the Pirates Cove Billfish Tournament. And we got all of our billfish gear. We were just so ready to slay the billfish. And we had done well with billfish throughout the season. And then billfish tournament time? Yeah. We get no billfish. But... We got a huge wahoo that your awesome wife caught. That was really, really cool. And we were on the leaderboard for a day. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it against Gunk. And a lot of you have asked, are we going to be participating in some of these other tournaments uh, next year? Uh, certainly, uh, that's probably going to be the case, especially as we grow, get more sponsors, things like that. But uh, learn a lot about tournament fishing. There's a lot that goes into it, man. It's like a whole culture, man. It's wild, man. It was really, really cool. Love Pirates Cove tournament. I loved all the billion dollar boats that were here. It was just like constantly walking around salivating <laughs> over these amazing yachts, man. That was really, really cool. All right. Yeah. So lesson number seven. You got another one, Professor? Can you uh, think of one? Oh, yeah. I can think of a lot of okay. them. Okay. All right. Number seven. Just uh, another lesson that I learned is be prepared for anything mm. at any time. Yeah. Because anything can happen at any moment of any given day and completely i mean completely change everything at the end of uh you know an eight or nine hour day in the last you might be oh man this has been a terrible depressed day, depressed yes throwing your hat down and all of a sudden <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> you're like oh man this has been a great day man, what awesome. a day i'll never forget this day yeah. it's amazing how quickly things change on the ocean that they do the ocean has a mind of its own it is not going on your schedule or mine. No. It doesn't really care the fact no. that we got up, we've been going all day. It's like, well, I'm ready to get the fish now. No. <laughs> it's like, are you ready to receive it? Are you still out there? Are you still on the grind? There were so many times when I was just like, man, this day, no video today. And suddenly, <laughs> man, we got the best video. Yeah, professor. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, just with with that, you ha when I say be prepared for anything, I mean, you've got to have your equipment and all the different things yes. in line to just go with the flow. Wherever the ocean leads you, you got to have everything ready. you got to have it. you yeah. got to have it. And you, my friends, have got to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You gotta like the video and you gotta visit us down here in Pirates Cove. We're getting ready to bring the boat back up to the Northern Neck, probably for the last time in Virginia, to Reedville. Yep. We're gonna finish the cabin and then we're gonna come down here for bluefin season and it's gonna be awesome. I'm Professor excited. is gonna be here the whole month. Yep. I mean, if he gets a window, gone. he is gone. gone. He's gone and I'm gonna try to get here as much as I can. We're going to have a ton of videos. We want you to be a part of our journey. It really is a journey. We're learning. We're very imperfect, but we're trying our best. And uh, we appreciate all of you that have left comments and that have helped us grow this year. 
really, really fun. So please again, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell. You know the stuff. Until the next time, everyone, stay salty.